Oh, I know what it is. to go under and then it all comes up like right here hi let me go and share Twelve, fourteen people hi guys Let me just go on really quick and share this. 59. And my niece with me. <laughs> She's supposed to be doing homework. Let me just share you guys and then we'll start. Yes. Share that to everyone. Hola. Oh yeah, no. Hi guys, give me one sec. Let me just share. Share this. Hi, whoever is saying a hola. Oh All right. Everyone saying hi. Hi guys. All right. So Especially let's start off with girl. or whoever that. Hi guys. All right, so we're gonna start with the brows. Um, I'm gonna be using Anastasia. This is soft brown pomade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start because it's gonna take forever. All right. So what I like to do is usually I like to put everything on my hands to kind of like warm up my colors. All right, so let's go. So my eyebrows are pretty thin because of overplucking. Can you guys see me okay? Thank you. Can you guys see me okay or is it too bright? All right, so we're gonna go right here. We need slime today. We're gonna make some Instagram brows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill just this outer part first and then I'm going to work my way inwards. Hi guys. Where's everybody from? I'm from Chicago. It is like so dark, so fast. And when I go right over here, you don't want to over apply the product, like when you go get to this part. So I'm going to turn my brush this way and just flick her up. Oh, wow, Michigan. All right. Thank you. I know I'm almost at the hair color that I want. Now I've just been doing my roots. Usually I always start off with my eyebrows first. Just because... There's so much that I do for them. My phone's getting sick. So 
So what kind of look do you guys want me to do? Should we do something softer? Wayne, what do you guys want to do? I try to go live earlier so my kids wouldn't be here. Hello. No, I always start off with my eyebrows first. Just because by the time I actually get to like the foundation and all the other stuff some of it is gonna like fade off which I'll show you guys in a minute so it's okay if they look crazy right now as long as they kinda look a little bit like sisters it's okay Hi guys, all right, so now I'm going in with the Anastasia, the Pro Palette, and I'm gonna use the Granite Shade. My main focus is like pretty much right out here. Yeah, I like to switch between doing like the Instagram brows to pretty much the feather brows are nice too. But those I like to do for the more natural look. And don't forget you guys could follow me. You could check. You could go creep on some of my work on my Instagram if you want. All right, so for the cutting, we're gonna go with MAC. This is NW15. Can you guys see me okay? I had to like come all the way to my sister's house because my stuff was not working at my house for like the life of me. AT&T sucks. All right, so let's get to the carbon. And if you feel like you messed something up, you could always go back and fix it. Hello? Your 
No, I don't speak Spanish. Only Polish and English. Casey, did you try doing your eyebrows like first before you do anything else? Because I feel like when you first start off with your eyebrows, then you could kind of like save them in case they don't match. But I feel like once you have foundation on, it just gets muddy. I don't know, for some reason when I tried um, the benefits stuff, when they sent me, me a package to see if like I would like it, and I don't know, like for some reason it's not, it's not easy to work with the benefits stuff, so maybe change, do you have like eyebrows or you're pretty like thin out like me? See like for me I can't use like pencils because I feel like I don't have enough eyebrows. Yeah, I do brows before anything else. Brows, and then I do my eyes, and then I do my foundation. Because usually, like, I like to go pretty dark with my eyes, and there's going to be a lot of fallout. But, like, my eyebrows have to look good because I feel like that's like the first thing a person notices about you is your eyebrows but like I said like in the beginning like it's kind of like you're making a sketch for everything that you do kind of because in the end I have to go back anyway and kind of brush them out just in case I got powder on them or anything You don't see my face. Can you guys hear me? Swipe right. Nothing's happening. Oh. But then I can't see what you guys are writing. <laughs> yeah, it takes me a long time to do my eyebrows. But you know what? I like to get up early in the morning. And I like to do my makeup when I go to work and stuff. So like I have to like, I don't know. I like to do makeup, so I like to take my time to do it. Alright, so if you feel like you're thinned out in some places, I'm going to go back with that, with that Pro Palette. <sighs> Thank you. Alright, and then I'm just going to like kind of do a couple of strokes just to make them look more natural. Like I said, at the end, it's all going to come together. What kind of eye look do you guys want to do? Should we do Modern Renaissance palette? Thank you. I know it took me about a year to get to this hair color. Well, doing it kind of like without messing up my hair.
My hair girl is amazing. If you're in Chicago, you have to go see her. Her name is Elgin, and she's at Floyd's Barber Shop in LaGrange. She's amazing. Now, if you want to make them look extra, whatever concealer you have left over, just kind of like rub this out on your brush and comb them out a little bit. This will make them look more feathery. Um, well, I'm from Chicago, so after like taking forever to find a hair girl that I actually like, I actually found somebody. Her name is Elgin, and she's at Floyd's. Floyd's Barbershop. All right, so you guys said you wanted Modern Renaissance. It's my favorite palette. Let's see where we could find it. And this is like my third or fourth one that I've been through. Um, so for transition color, let's go in with, with these two colors. But first, I'm going to take some soft ochre. They don't see what? I can't lower. I'm already like... They said they could see me. My family is so annoying. Oh, you just said you didn't see what. <laughs> so soft ochre is nice because it conceals like all the red veins and everything else or anything on your eye. I'm too low. Do you want me to go higher up? Joka, how do you make this go higher? What? Better? How? I don't know. You made it too low. Get away from me. No, you have to go up and then hold it. Better? All right. Alright, so remember whatever you put on your on your face, you have to set it with something. So I'm just gonna use hmm, just need something like I'm not at my house, so I don't have all my makeup so I like dragged everything like a homeless person. So I'm just gonna use like a nude color or a white color. If you don't set your eyeshadow, you're going to see those little circles and it's going to look unblended. Jelka, did he put on the heat? Yeah. I Can know. you turn it off? It's like so hot in here. You have a sweater that big. You put it All on right. high. I'm going to put it on low. Thank you. All right, so let's go with raw sienna. Hello. Most most of the brushes that I have, they're all from Morphe. Morphe is amazing. Their brushes are like so affordable, and they just came out with eyelashes, by the way. These people in this house, like, they like their heat set to, like, 100. It's, like, so fucking hot in here. Jesus Christ. 
feel like I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, speaking of Morphe and Lashes. So, I got a package from them today. And they have new lashes that just came out with. And they're so nice. And they're only going to be for $10. I don't know if you guys could see. But... They're actually really, really, really nice. I'm like, excited to try these out. And they, they're only supposed to be 10 bucks, which is, I think that's affordable. As full and nice as they are. Let me turn down this. I want to take this out pretty much here. And remember, when you're doing your transition colors, it's kind of like you want to go from lightest to kind of darkest. Mm. Let's go one burnt orange. I like windshield. Do you guys want me to do wing or no wing? This is a Morphe 504. Are we doing a wing or no wing? Well, to keep up with like with the hair color, I use Blonde Brilliance. It's um at Sally's. It's like eight dollars. So I just use my regular shampoo, and then I just leave it. And if you want to make it more grayish, then I just literally put it in and wash it out. But if I want to do the more lilac -y color, I'll leave it on a little bit longer. So now let's go with. Mm, Let's go red ochre. And I'm going to switch over. This is a Morphe R30, I think. And I'm just going to stick to this color, this like outer part right here. Oh, I don't do my own hair. Oh God, no. I get it done. I get it done every probably like three months. I get my hair done. And the crazy part is since I actually like, my hair used to be black before this. Well, then I was like ombre for a little bit. But my hair was like not growing at all. No matter what I did. And then I switched hair people and my hair magically started growing. Oh, sorry. She's too holographic, right? Holographic glitter. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I never go live, and I never usually do my makeup at this time either. So I'm trying to adjust.
I'm just going to make like smaller circles over here. And then I'm just going to go in with the transition shade again. Kind of blend this out. So now let's go in with, let's go in with a little bit of a love letter. I'm just going to bring this in lower. Actually, let me switch my brush. Now, if you guys are looking for a good angle brush for that corner, um, the Morphe 507 brush is amazing. Like one of my favorite, favorite brushes. So it's way smaller. No, I don't know what she uses. I just, she knows that I wanted, I want my hair like platinum, silver, grayish. So I'm, I never go in there and tell her this is what I want. Like she already knows kind of what goal, like I don't know what places use. I have no clue. This color I'm going to take in a little bit. So for transition, I used raw sienna and burnt orange. Then I went with a little bit of like red ochre. You guys want to see it? In case you don't have the palette. So when we went in, for originally we went with these two. And then we put a little bit of red ochre. And then let's put a little bit of love letter, which is like this pinkish, pinkish color. Like this palette's nice because you could like literally make so many looks. If you follow me on my Instagram, you'll see I use this like palette a lot. This one and Morphe is like my favorite. My niece is saying you guys should go follow, hit me up on my Instagram. I'm gonna just blend this out a little bit. Instagram is at Cascats. You're so funny. My Instagram is underscore K A S underscore K A S underscore twice. I also listed it twice. I think on top. Alright, so I'm going to carve the inner part out. find my brush. I feel like I can't see. There we go. Um, let's go with Soft Ochre from MAC. This one's really nice. Thanks, guys. So... My eyes are naturally hooded, so I'm just going to go above. I'm going to kind of wipe my brush in between.
<laughs> You're so funny. This one is a Morphe B19. But I feel like, you know which other one is really nice? This one's an Anastasia brush, and I use it so much. It's a 15. I use it so much that you can't even tell, like, what number it is. I, I'm trying to, like, switch because the other one is, like, falling apart. But it's, like, one of those brushes that are, like, my favorite. No, these are all, most of my brushes that I have, they're all from MAC. Not MAC, sorry, Morphe. Um, I don't know, they're like affordable, they're like a couple of bucks. And the quality is amazing. And they just like released new brushes. But I haven't like converted to those yet. My eyes are today like jacked up. I had so much glitter on yesterday. When were you born? In what year? Let me just find something to set this with. I'm gonna use the white. Just use. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. So much stuff I wasn't sure what I wanted to do so let's go in with these are all Anastasia single shadows um, I like this palette because it holds up a lot of a lot of single ones it's from I th what was it I'll put a link for it down after later I'm gonna go in with bone just like an off-white color This is my first time actually going live. Like sometimes I go live on my regular Facebook, but that's like hardly ever. I get like, my face is all red because I'm so nervous. So I hope that you guys will like it and you guys will have me back. Alright, so now I'm going to go back with with that love letter, which is that pink. So what did you guys say? You wanted a wing or no wing? It's not even like about rude comments. I just get like so nervous. I don't even know. Like it's stupid. I don't even understand why. I mean usually I'll go live. Like usually I do my makeup on Snapchat. 
So, but I mean, snap is different than going live. Like, I don't know. You could just fuck shit up, I guess. I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit. Oh, thanks, guys. I, mean, I don't really care like what people really say it doesn't really bother me I don't really get phased like that you just blend all this up I mean people like talk crap all the time it takes you so long to do your makeup um I don't know I just like it so I take my time doing it people like going to the gym and they spend hours there too All right, so for liner, we'll use Inglot 77. And for the brush, this brush I had, oh my God, for so long. This is a MAC 266. My favorite, favorite brush, like hands down for liner. And I don't, it's gel, so again, I'm going to put it on my hand. Um, I don't mess with no kind of like liquids unless like I'm going over my eyeliner because liquid is hard. Liquid is like, mm, I ain't about that life. I feel like you need like such a steady hand. All right, so one. I always do this part and then go back. And I like to be winged out all the way to here if I could. Um, it's a Mac 266. I don't know. I just find like it's perfect. Yes, it's a gel. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't like liquid just... I don't know. I can't do liquid. What do you guys like to use for liner? I feel like the, the Maybelline one is like really nice too. When I was trying to figure out like my eyeliner stuff a couple years back, I found Maybelline. And trust me, I bought like, when I first started doing my makeup, I would buy so much different stuff. It's If you've seen all my stuff, you'll be like... But I feel like when we start out, we're always like, everything has to be Mac, 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 Mac. And honestly, it doesn't because, like, Makeup Geek is super, super nice too. And they're so affordable and their eyeshadows are like fourth of a price. You know, like, you could get a Morphe palette for like 20 bucks.
And I like to go back and like fix, like intensify the eyeshadow like after I do my liner. Hello. My, my sister's like downstairs yelling at my niece about homework. That's all I hear is homework, homework. All right. But one thing about the Inglot is, if you're gonna get it, it's a bitch to get it off. So make sure you got makeup remover wipes, otherwise you're walking around with that wing for like the next four days. All right, so for wipes, I like the Neutrogena ones. I feel like those are really nice fix this wing before it dries up all the way if you have and if you have nails this is super nice because you could just cut this oh, I love eyeliner I feel like it makes it makes your eyes so nice did you finish your homework they're watching me down For glitter, what I like to do is, first I'll do, like let's say we wanted to do glitter now, I'll put on glitter after I already put on my eyeliner, and then just go back and fix it, the eyeliner. Because I feel like if you put, I don't know, I just hate like the clumps that you get. So I like to do, kind of like go backwards, and then just go over it. I'm going to go back with, let me see. Let's go back with red ochre. Hi, Sheila. I'm just gonna put in this outer part. I'm going to take a little bit of the brown in here, this one. I know, I've been having like a million things going on in my life. I mean, I haven't, haven't had time for anything. Let me just go back and blend this out. Um, they sell them on their website. You could just go on the Morphe website and see what they have. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and recarve this a little bit. Oh, hello, Brazil. Oh, I love girls from Brazil. Oh, they're just so beautiful. And their makeup is phenomenal. I'm actually friends with a couple of girls from Brazil, and we do Google Translate. It's kind of like, it's, it's weird, but they're just so like, their techniques are unbelievable. Let me just record this. A little bit.
It's like a lot of times, like if you watch me on Snap, I usually don't know what I'm doing. Like for Instagram, I feel like you can't repost the same thing over and over. So you always have to keep it fresh. So sometimes I go in with glitter. Sometimes I go in with this. Sometimes I go in with that. You know what I mean? You have to like keep it, keep people wanting to come back, I guess. My snap is K O G R O D N Y. Do you wear highlighter? Uh, what do you mean, like highlighter, highlighter? I'm kind of liking the way this looks right now. And yes, it does take me forever to do my makeup, but I feel like if you want nice makeup, you can't just, like my sister like is able to do her whole, like she slays her whole face, not even kidding you guys, like in 30 minutes. And I'm still like trying to pick out my playlist. And I'm going to go in I'm going to use the Urban Decay the heavy metal. Oh, I don't have blush on. Are you talking about my face? No, I'm just red. When I get nervous, my face gets red. And I feel like super super nervous. But foundation is going to come next. I'm only going to go right here. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't really like blush. I don't know. Maybe it's because my face is always red. That I I don't know like I feel like blush only like I don't know like I try to stay away from from that I don't even know but the Anastasia ones are nice Morphe ones are nice too Mac ones are nice I use the Anastasia, the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm 34. And the crazy part is that I didn't start like doing makeup, makeup like this. Maybe like two years ago I started doing makeup like this that I was like, all right, let's do something. I feel like I always did like just whatever. Um, for primer... I don't really use any kind of primers. I just use a Pixi Wake Up Spray. I'm just going to spray this on. Whew. The glitter was Urban Decay uh, Midnight Cowboy. Oh, thank you. Mm hmm I don't know, like, I don't know why I'm so late in the game. I don't even know why. All right, so one thing that I actually, like, learned, I love watching Nikki tutorials, is that what she likes to do is she'll spray her face, like, when she's fixing her face, and um, she likes to, like, kind of, like, blow something on top of it, so it's kind of, like, sets her... Um, it sets her face, I guess you could kind of say. If you know what I'm trying to say, like when you're spraying like a fix, like a fix spray. Like the way she explained it was, she um, she said 
one time when she was smaller, she was riding a bike to school, blah, blah, blah. And her makeup was all over her face, but from the wind, it literally stayed on her face better. Now, that ain't no weave. I used to have a weave this color. It's my hair. All right, for foundation, we're going to go with YSL. And I grabbed the empty bottle. Warp, warp, warp. All right, so now what I like to do, I'm going to use the one that for carving for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia A27 brush. I like to kind of go around. Now, before we even do this, I like my foundation dark, so I start off with like looking white and I finish like looking like my Biffle from Durango. Yeah, I love my hair color. Like, too bad it's not daytime. You guys can't even see it. That good. And I like to just carve, like, around to, like, sharpen my eyebrows back up. The only thing that sucks about having like light hair like this is that it gets um, in your hair. I hate that. So for foundation brush, I'm going to use this is a Morphe G39. Get rid of this redness. Um... I only wash my hair once a week, so I only wash my hair on Thursdays, and it's about that time. So like when I just wash my hair, my hair is, uh, I guess you could say it depends on, oh shoot, it depends on how much, how long I leave that toner in. To tell you the truth, like right now my hair is like a lot of different colors. I think my toner is fading off. I'm making a mess at my niece's desk. She's gonna be yelling. No, I don't care. You know, it's funny because I had a wig the same color. And I'm actually like the color of my wig, so I don't have to wear it anymore. But I do want to get some tracks because I want my hair to be super, super long. I know it sounds crazy. This is YSL. I don't know why I grabbed this one. You know, I tried. Did you guys try the Fenty? Fenty is really nice. The coverage is really nice. But like the coverage on this one is nice too. If you notice like my face, I'm no longer a tomato. This is the YSL. This is the All Hours Foundation. It's this one. Which I have to like pop off because I grabbed the wrong one. But you know what, NARS is super nice too. When I do use a NARS one, I do like to use the Cover Effects Drops. Use this, I hate when it gets in my hair. Um, the Cover Effects Drops, if I want my foundation to stay at like super, super long, if I'm going to like work for extra, then the Cover Effects definitely, definitely work. You just put a drop with your foundation and it's life. Aw, thanks guys. Mm hmm I feel like, um, I want to try, did you guys try the Huda one? I want to try the Huda one. Aw, you guys are great. 
I'll try like going on like live during the daytime so you could see like better. I was having like such a hard time like connecting. I had to take all my shit to my sister's house. Oh, it was a hot mess. Oh, my nose ring. Uh, my nose ring, I got it from at the mall. Like one of those body shops. Um, my hair is... Uh, you guys want to see my hair down? But it looks kind of crazy because I just like threw it up. It's funny because my mom's always like, what are you going to do when you're going to be old, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, duh, I'm going to have brown hair. Well, it looks kind of crazy, but I'll show you guys. Just a heads up, it looks crazy. So it's like, well, it looks nappy as fuck, but. So it's, it's pretty much like this color you see is the color you see like throughout my hair. I don't know if you could see it that good. I don't want to put my hair down. You put the heat on like 80. That's my sister. She puts the heat on like 100 and it's so flipping hot. Let me try making it look somehow normal. It is a bird's nest. Wouldn't you want to be that bird up in my hive? All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna use, these are Maybelline. I'm gonna go in with a brightener and just like a regular concealer. Hello. For the brightener, I'm just gonna go like right under here. Sheila, that's all I got time for. With kids, that's all you got time for. <laughs> Hi, guys. When I blend out my concealer, I like to do my under eyes and my like nose last.
Girl, of course I'm doing lashes. There's no look without lashes. There's no point of putting eyeshadow on if you're not going to put lashes. I actually brought my favorite ones with me. I didn't forget them. Let me just take a little bit of concealer. Sharpen this up. I hate that my face is so red. Oh, it's so hot in this room. I swear my sister is like, I know she could hear me because I could hear myself. I don't know, like in my house, like my thermostat is like set to 66. Not about that life. Let me turn my nose rings. Alright. What gel did you use? What gel for what? No, she's not messing with me. She just likes to she likes it to be so fucking hot. I don't even know. Like I'm telling you, it's so I'm like, how much do you guys pay for your bill? Like what's really going on? Alright, so favorite part baking so for this I like to use the RCMA and first I like to do is to set my face oh liner I use Inglot 77 so I'm just gonna go and set especially my under eye now this makes a huge difference if you have oily face like I have like my t-zone is super oily so I'm gonna like bake like throughout this whole video pretty much. Girl. And this like is nice because it's translucent so So my main focus is like my T-zone. Hello Brazil. All right, so, so my nose right now is matte. I'm gonna go in. If I could find it, my hula bronzer. everything in a box there it is and for my nose I like to use this is the Luxie 180 brush I'm going to take this a little bit up here.
and if you want to do like a pouty fuller lip put brown right here for the eyeshadow for the eyeshadow it's the Anastasia where is it it's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. Thank you. Where am I from? I'm from Chicago. Well, Oakland, if you're in Chicago. Thank you. I was actually thinking about... Oh, this one? Oh, it's the Huda. It's this one. The Desert Dusk Palette. I didn't really, like, play around with it as much as I wanted to yet. I don't know. I'm, like, stuck on this Modern Renaissance Palette. So now I'm just going to go in with that powder. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to bake this shit. All right. Thank you. You guys are great. The longer you bake, I feel like, the longer your makeup stays. No, everything I learned, I kind of learned by myself. Like, I tried to, like, watch a lot of um, YouTube, but it's so hard because I used to, like, literally sit there and be like what am i doing wrong like why isn't why am i not looking like carly right now you know like and it's so frustrating but then i would just practice and then some days i would look crazy my sister could tell you some days i would look jacked up but then you know like you kind of like you go and you like you learn you know what i mean let's see Now for my glue, for my eyelashes, let me see if I can find it. I like to use two glues. The um, This one is from Iris Beauty. It's my glue thing. And then I like to use the dual glue. For my skincare, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really do much. I don't... I don't know, like, I use the, I, um, I image skin line is amazing. It's a little bit pricey, but I feel like you get what you pay for, kind of. For my concealer, um, I usually use the Tape Shape by Tarte, but I ran out. So I used, um, Maybelline. Maybelline is super nice. It makes, it's like almost the same thing. I'm trying to save some money, just get the Maybelline one. I'm going to put glue on my eyelashes. Now, I like eyelashes to be very, very dramatic. Let me show you guys how they look in a case. These are sweetheart lashes. They come in a case like this. Oh, can you guys see? And they're very, very dramatic. Like, full. I have a discount code for them if you guys want. It's uh, K-A-S. It's like my Instagram name. Oh, thank you. Thanks for following me. You guys are great. Like, it, the crazy part is that on Instagram, like, last year, this time, I had, like, maybe, like, 2,000 followers, maybe. 
now I'm like up to like 58 and a half thousand which is to me it's like crazy because I don't know I just do my makeup and I post it because I like it you know what I mean I know sweetheart lashes are bomb 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 and like everything like kind of like just happened like overnight kind of I get a message on my makeup Facebook page from a girl saying that she she works with Anastasia blah 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 and I'm gonna put on glue on these lashes and I'm just gonna leave them until they get tacky and then the girl was like we want to send you a PR package and here I'm like she messing with me like who is this girl and um, she's like and it was weird because she sent me a message from her regular um, page so I was like mm, she's playing with my emotions so it was kind of like crazy because around Christmas I get a package from Anastasia with all her stuff like all her eyeshadows and it was just insane like I couldn't I couldn't believe it um, I use my the Galaxy 4 for my pictures my makeup page is makeup by cat K-A-T how do I edit my pictures mmm too bad I can't show you Margaret in my jackets downstairs can you bring me my phone and it's in my coat let me see if she hears me so I could show you guys because if you guys what you need is a good camera to take pictures like people don't understand like you have to have a good picture to be able to edit or do whatever for setting power is the RCMA like I literally like the best time to take pictures for me is in the daytime Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to start with MAC Give Me Sun. Hello. So I'm just going to like warm up my face a little bit. But I mean, people think that like this happens overnight. Like you have to like work. Like you can't just like, I don't know, you always have to be creative. Like Instagram is weird. Like people like, and it's so competitive on Instagram. You know, like, and there's so many people that are so, like, wonderful. You know, like, it's just amazing. And I prefer Instagram over Facebook. And I feel like I love looking at makeup pictures. I think I, like, creep on girls more than guys. Well, if I use the toner, so I'll use my regular shampoo. And then I put the toner in. If I just leave it in for like a minute, especially yeah, like on my roots, because that's my main part that I need. Um, then if I wash it out right away, it turns gray. If I like leave it in my hair, it will turn it like this color, which I like the lilac-y. It's um, my makeup page is makeup by Kat K A T. So, like, I do a little bit of freelancing when I have time. The toner that I use is, um, it's from Sally's. It's, like, $8. It's Blonde Brilliance. Like, my hair girl told me to stick away from purple shampoos, kind of, because she says they have so much alcohol in them, usually. Hello, Philippines. Thank you. Thanks, Maddie. All right, and now I'm going to go back with the hula, and I'm just going to carve out them cheeks, get rid of our chins. But I decided that, like, on Thursdays, I'm just going to, like, I have to, like, start snapping more. I used to take a snap every time I did my makeup. I need to get up on that again. My Instagram is underscore KAS underscore KAS underscore twice. Uh, 
I don't know. I asked her, like, I seen um, this brand on Instagram. Like, this girl had, like, amazing purple, like, I don't know, kind of like the color that I wanted. And then I did a test area. Where is it? It's somewhere. I think there's this, there's, like, a part of my hair that no matter how many times she bleached it already, it doesn't want to, like, fade it off. I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh, thank you. I mean, go to my regular Facebook and I think it's linked on there too, Elena, if you want. Isn't it crazy what some makeup could do? All right, I'm gonna put on some mascara. So this is, I think it's Ico mascara. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. Oh, I love Brazil. Oh my God, Brazil, and it's just so amazing. Like their makeup is so amazing. And the girls are so, so nice. It's insane. All right, so now I'm going to put on my lashes. Now, I like to, like, leave the glue on there for a long time because I like to be for them to be tacky. So then, easiest way to apply lashes, bend them, bend them, bend them like this. Make them kind of like your eye shape. Hi, Canada. My regular Facebook, it's Kathy with a K. The last name is O G R O D N Y. And if you bend them like that, they literally just pop on. So the style for these, these are Natalie. But I like how full they are. Where are you from in Illinois? I'm from Illinois too. Thank you. So again, we're just going to bend, bend, bend. But these are like, if you don't like big eyelashes, then you're not going to like these because these bitches are like, they're huge. And after they dry a little bit, I'll like flicker them up. It's amazing, guys, what some makeup could do. I'm going to take a little bit more. it you know what you know what highlighter is really really nice that I had for like ever is artist couture this highlighter I've had shit maybe like two years already it is loose but it's so nice you guys want to see swatches but it's so nice 
and it's not even that expensive. It's going to last you for a very long time. Now, a lot of times people ask me, how do you get... I'm on the south side, actually. You have Coco Bling. It's so nice. That shit is fire. Now, what's nice if you guys... Like, a lot of times people ask, how do I get pigment out of my eyeshadows and stuff? Um, eye drops. So I'm going to show you guys something. If you just get a brush, I'll just do it with my finger. If you just put like a drop into whatever pigment that you have, look at the difference. I'm going to show you guys. So this is the one that's with the eye drops. You see how much more pigment it has compared to this one? But people are always like, how do you get it to make it so be so... That's it. Like that. You know what else is a nice highlighter? Since we're on that topic, the Iconic London, but this is, this one is, it comes in drops. Hi. But this one is like, see this one? This one is like, okay, I'll see you. Mm hmm definitely try the eye drops amazing yeah. you guys see I like to do both I like to use liquid and then top it off because I like to shine to the moon all right so like let's finish the eyes how should we do the eyes you guys want me to go dark or should we keep this light by the way this is like pretty light for what I usually do um, go on Instagram and just look them up and there's a link on their website for the Coco Blink. Just gonna put a little bit more. But these lashes give me a life. Just regular eye drops. And like you see a lot of the girls, they do that with um, the MAC Fix Plus. But this is just like a way cheaper way of doing it. Thank you. Yes, this is just regular eye drops. It's the clear eyes eye drops. Just whatever eye drops you could get or eye drop solution, whatever. I'm trying to think what we should do on the bottom. Now I really like, you know what's really nice too? Brow plumpers are really nice. I didn't even get to talk to you guys about that. I was so nervous. Um, if you don't have, uh, the NYX are really nice. Let's see. Anastasia came out with some too. She has like different shades. She has different shades of them. Fuck it. I think we're just gonna go dark. I'm gonna take the Inglot again. Hello, sister. NYX is like, you know what's really nice? The white base is super, super nice from NYX. I'm just gonna go. Elena just messaged me later. Find me on um, regular Facebook and I'll. I'll help you find it.
Hello. Like, keep it light. Keep it light. Alright, I'm going to go in with... Now, the nice thing about still baking is that it won't get all over your face, the eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with that dark brown. Thank you. I'm going to go like right under here. Oh, you guys are great. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Mm, I'm using my ring light. I like dragged it into my car. I'm just going to go softly. I don't want to go ham with this. I'm going to go in with that red ochre. Oh, thanks, guys. I know these lashes. And the thing is that these lashes, can you guys see? I already had them. Like, I wore them already, like, more than 30 times. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive. They're, like, 30 bucks. Um, But you get what you pay for. I feel like if you're going to go to a store and you're going to buy like cheaper eyelashes, you're not going to have them as long as these. I'm going to with a bigger brush. Um, these are the Sweetheart Lashes. And these are in style Natalie. I have a discount code for them. It's KAS. Save a little bit. You guys are funny. Make sure you're all blended. Because nobody likes unblended eyeshadow. Looks good. You guys see really good? Is this better? Can you guys see better now? Usually like when I do my makeup in the morning, like I usually always do my makeup it's like pretty like dark. I feel like you could see better. You could see where you contour and everything else. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bone color. Like, if you ever feel like you went too high with your eyeshadow and or it doesn't look right on top, you can just go right over here. You could use like a white or a nude color and kind of like diffuse these colors a little bit up here. I feel like I need to fix my eyebrows. Alright, we're gonna take. Thank you. Let me turn this up a little bit. So 
do you guys think of the eyeshadow? All right, so I'm gonna take, maybe we'll take the liquid one first. And you could do two things. You could either take it with just a brush. Yes, I have a brush for like every every like part of the process. But one thing that I'm going to tell you guys, if you're looking for a good corner brush, get that Morphe brush that I told you about. Now, my all-time favorite, like, is the Anastasia. The pink heart color, it's amazing. I like to just take a little bit right here. Oh, thank you. It means a lot, like, especially from girls that, like, actually went to school for this kind of stuff because, I don't know, it's kind of pick, it's kind of like learned as you go, kind of, you know, so it's nice to hear. And, like, I'm one of those girls that will, like, always, like, if I see a pretty girl, I'm always like, hey, you look gorgeous. Sometimes they look at me like I'm crazy. But, what are you going to do? All right, so now I'm going to take... Brush is dirty, hold on. The lashes are from Sweetheart Lashes, and the eyeshadow that I used was the Anastasia one, the uh, modern um, Renaissance palette. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Another like question that I always get asked a lot too is how long does it take me to do my makeup? Like two hours usually. Well, the problem is if I start a look, a lot of times like I want to add stuff, add stuff. But I just like it. On my eyes, you want to go closer? Two hours. I mean, if I want to do more like a natural look, I don't know. I still like, 
I feel like if I'm doing a more natural look, then I have to slay my contour more. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, so I don't look basic. Let me see. For the inner corner, I think we're going to go in with Artist Couture. Thank you, sister. Thanks, guys. I'm going to use a little bit of the eye drops just to bring out the pigment. Well, see, so I'm not the only one that takes forever. Um, lately I've been having like a obsession with gl like with gold flakes, and that takes like forever to do too. Maybe I'll do like if you guys want, maybe tomorrow I'll do a snap on gold flakes if you guys want to watch. And in the corner, I use the Coco Blink. No, I don't do contacts. One time I tried to put on contacts, mm -mm. the whole room was spinning. You know, like one thing. Yes, I think I'll do. I think I'll do like um. I think I'll do like some. There was a look that I did. I can't even show you guys I'm on my phone. Um, on Instagram that when like everybody was crazy about. And I don't know, it's always like those looks that you don't even like really try that people like love. It's the strangest thing. And yes, little sister, of course I would do your makeup. I see my sister's like, What are you doing on Saturday? I'm just going to take a little bit of the granite and I'm just going to go over this because like I told you guys like it kind of like some parts of it like fade off but I feel like I, I can't even do my eyebrows because my eyebrows just don't grow like the last time I did my eyebrows was like in high school thank you And maybe like next time if they have me live again, I'll show you guys how I do my feather brows. Anything that you just go for your snap. My niece. They wanna say hi, come say hi. Anything that could go follow your snapchat. I'm actually in her room. So that's why she's probably like Yeah, my niece is like with me. I'm like in her room. I was trying to go live the other day, but no signal. It just wasn't connecting. Like, I tried going live in the morning today. It wouldn't work. So finally, I got to you guys. I'm going to actually go. So the only lipstick that I think I brought with me is a super dark one. Which is one of my favorites. You should do it this one day. Hmm? This kind. <sighs> Blend this out. My husband.
than one snake. Well, he's sick. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of, this is the, it's like a flawless finishing powder. I'm just going to take a little bit just to resharpen this. Hello. For my brows, I use the Anastasia the brow, and then this is like a wonderful thing to have if you're freelancing because it has all different shades. So it's super, super nice. Another thing that I really like, take this off my hand is cover effects has a nice it's like a bronzer kind of i feel like i look orangey -ish, ish it's like a brown but it has like a shimmer i'm just gonna put a little bit one thing that i like learned is like let's say you're doing your makeup and you feel like your contour torn like it kind of turned more orangey um anastasia has find it because I brought it to show you guys she has like this and then I brought like a bunch of crap I wasn't sure what we were gonna do Anastasia has it's like a highlighter and it's an orange um so if you ever mess up if you just put a little bit of this orange it balances out the gray I have to use like for myself I use both I use gel and I use um, cause my eyebrows are like not on point Let's see where I put my lipstick so we're gonna use this is Anastasia trust issues is my favorite color it's like a super dark I'll show you guys it's my favorite favorite color Angelica, can you go downstairs in my jacket, my black jacket? Can you just bring it to me, please? The whole jacket? Mm-hmm. Hell, 
Thank you. Oh, where is me? No, my piano. Wait, you can write stuff back to them? Alright. Is any of the Anastasia people looking at it? Like the famous, famous people? <laughs> Alright, so for... Let me find my phone so I can show you guys. See, a lot of people think that, like, a lot of the pictures, I mean, how much Photoshop do you think you could do on pictures? I mean, I don't have, I have two kids. I ain't no way I got time for all that. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. For what? All right, so let me see if I could show you guys. Let me see if it will work. So I have a Galaxy 4 phone. Uh, let me see if we could she find something. Me. Let me see if I could find a picture. Wait, are you using the 8 right now? So, like, this is a look that I did the other day. Let me turn around so I could show you guys. So, this is a look that I did, and it's just a picture that I did outside. So, let me see. Let me go straight to Instagram. Hmm. All right, so let me go find. Go to this one. So, like, when you have your pictures, okay? So, just go next. And edit. You could adjust the picture. You could make it go anywhere you want. I like to do kind of like eye, upper face. Oh, thanks guys. So, figure out which way you want to go. Let's say you want to go this way. Hit done. If you change just the brightness of your picture, right away your eyes look more popping, if you could see it. And then if you feel like the picture is too warm, just turn down this a little bit. And then um, if you want to bring out the eyeshadow, whatever you have, just you could bring it out as much as you want. You see that? I'll leave it like here. And then vintage will just change the background just a little bit darker. So if you click on it, you could kind of see how it looked before, how it looks now. And then another nice thing is you just go to filters, just change where you want to be. If you want to go here, if you're like, I don't like it, just pick something else. If you don't like those, just be normal. And then that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. But, I mean, if you don't have a good picture, you won't have, you won't have like good, I don't know, you can't even edit a bad picture. So I hope this was helpful for some of you guys. For the setting powder, I mean setting spray, I'll just use Cover FX. I got this in, um, what is it, BoxyCharm to try, and I actually like it. So I'm just going to take something to fan myself, so I'm going to go apply it. pretty much it hope you guys like my video I'll see maybe I could go live again hope you guys like the video you could always message me Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye loves bye. she's like get out of my room anyway so you can follow me on Instagram if you want.
Check out my snap. Tomorrow I'll make a snap. Let me know if you want me to go okay. more live. Maybe they'll let me to come on yes. here and talk to you guys. Because I actually really like it. In the beginning I was super nervous. But I actually liked it. Oh no. Thank you for watching. Alright guys. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, Instagram. It's underscore K-A-S underscore K-A-S underscore twice. My snap is K-O-G-R-O-D-N-Y. Do you guys want to know anything else? I think we're all good. Facebook. This is Facebook. Yeah. Alright, you guys have a good night.